Uh, yeah, right, it's that time again. I, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Money. Who said that? I am your subconscious. Well, you chose a really annoying voice. It is the voice of logic. Okay then, Mr. IQ 9000, you tell everyone what they're about to get themselves in for, seeing how we don't have the budget to hire Mr. Hollywood. Very well. This season, prepare to witness the reveal of Ragtag's real skill, which he has been hiding from you, where he will show incredible movement. Hold on, Fuse. I'm coming! Wall jumps. Do you want to see a wall jump? Look. Uh, sure. That was it. Jump strafing. And blistering nail-biting battles. Oh, you noobs. <laughs> 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 Gutter Deer Productions presents A Road to Diamond. Solo queuing into ranked is a feat for the bold, the stupid, and the stupidly bold. But when we dove towards South Promenade, my teammate's trinity of pings made me think we were going to divide and conquer. <laughs> yeah, I landed on the tippity top of a polar. I just thought you wished. Boy, you true guys. Both teammates cut down by a full team of three. The smart play here would be to run away and save the points. But you didn't click this video for smart plays. Mirage was out of bullets, but if he landed one punch on me, this game was over. One, two, three. Well, Pathfinder, there's your damage! But maybe if I punched Fuse when he was 10 HP, I might have gotten your banner before it timed out. <laughs> Clearly, he was still interested in some ranked points, though, as I set about resurrecting Octane on a nearby bridge. Then came the difficult call. Hang around and loot together, or leave him in case another squad rushed in on the beacon. I couldn't abandon my teammate again, but in hindsight, maybe I should have. It was over for me, and try as he might, the same Pathfinder who burned me down caught up with Octane and did the same to him. Fuse deemed us worthy to land in Alpha Base, but once again, another team would challenge us for ownership of this zone, and also, once again, my squad mates found themselves in the thick of it while I had my pick of the loot, which I'm just going to boil down to my <coughs> superior awareness. You know what, at least I was facing the right direction. Despite me cracking her shield, Horizon smelled my weakness and pushed anyway. A better start this time with all three of us surviving Alpha Base, but one lesson I still struggle with is to do with survival and loadouts. Just because you get away with using a flatline and a sentinel, it doesn't mean you have the skill to wield it. Having said that, if you happen upon an enemy team, take your time with the aim. No, it's still trash. Round two was going to close soon and we found ourselves in Promenade, a dangerous zone in which to linger. But we were chasing the safety of the next ring and it turned out we weren't the only ones. Now this is why I chose Bloodhound. Oh 
As I tried to gatekeep the interlopers, Bangalore opened fire on another squad. Things were about to get complicated. I raced to regroup with Bangalore, but Fuse, well... Blot out, poopy pants! Why in the name of Salvo did you leave? These guys were good. Make that terrifying! Getting that banner wasn't looking likely with that nemesis wielder in play. Maybe we should have risked it for such a polite teammate, but with there being no beacons left, playing for position might be the only way out of bronze. Round four, seven squads left. Taking the building might feel like the play, but without a Watson, Rampart, Catalyst or Caustic, we were vulnerable here. I badly wanted a new loadout. Perhaps I could lift one from a death box, but first, we'd have to make one. This felt like a horrible idea, but what else could I do? I was done with the Sentinel. I needed that Peacekeeper to fight inside, but a grenade came between me and my beloved. So this is how the end games play out, with a gazillion grenades being thrown like it's a stadium riot! Well, I might not have any of those, but if I lived to tell the tale, I'd make my enemies regret trying to burst through our front door! There's nowhere safe to stand in this wretched place! I wanted to push badly, but I was shieldless. So thank goodness for Fuse's ultimate and my teammates' pressure, because now I could rid myself of the Sentinel and finish this game with the R99. We might not have grenades, but we had Bangalore's smoke, my scan and a thermal sight. We were 2v3, but with our synergy, we might just pull this off. the high ground and so long as we held it, our enemies didn't stand a ch- Look guys, it's incredibly slippy up there, I couldn't see through the smoke or I just shut your mouths! Oh no. Oh double no. No matter the incident with Fuse's banner recovery, we had restored our honour and brought him some badly needed ranked points for which he was very thankful. Unfortunately, the choice of words used were, well, some people might see it as ungrateful, so let's just say that Fuse said, Bloodhound, I'm not entirely sure I forgive you, but good game, when in actual fact he called me a fa- 
But with great cowardice comes great rewards as I had escaped the bowels of bronze and slithered into silver. Without a third teammate, I might add. However, while many see this as a curse, I see it as a free roll of the dice because usually Apex vetoes the minus 50 points when it realises that it did a boo-boo as my console's pre-made partner was nowhere to be found, and with at least two other teams landing here again back in Alpha Base, it might not be long before I found myself back in the lobby. Again, don't have a gun. Now what? Run out in the open for a revive? Sure, why not? Uh, never mind. As the banner timer ticked down, I looked on utterly helpless. Sure, I could go and hide in a corner somewhere, but what if those two teams were too busy with each other to notice? Who cares? I was going for you. Uh... Each of those teams thought I was part of the other. I mean, who else would be dumb enough to fly on top of a banner to rescue their teammate? But it wasn't over yet and I still had to somehow make it out of here alive. So I did the obligatory wait a random amount of time and then deemed it the perfect moment to make my move. escape felt like I'd just won the game, but the stone-cold reality of 16 squads left meant there was hiding- I mean, work to do to get some ranked points. Here. Round 3, edge of the ring with 10 squads left, our plan was simply to survive as we couldn't exactly pull off a spectacular smackdown as a duo in a trio's lobby, not to mention we were still in baby shields. However, I was still very much an opportunist. Just when it looked like our luck had turned a corner, we were sent a reminder that God did not want us to live. Okay, you have some skill. Round four about to close and that squad still hadn't left that building! There was only one way out of here and I didn't like it one bit. This was one of those games where I felt outgunned, outmatched, but most importantly, outshielded! I had nothing left! And when you've got nothing left, you do the only thing you know how. Round 5 and we'd made it to the last bastion of this game, but to what end? We were about to make our stand and to think it all came from one bold banner rescue. I started to believe that we might be able to take this all the way. misplaced belief in a victory, but my confidence in making something out of nothing began to grow, and in honour of my Horizon teammate, I took her into battle. Oh. What a novelty not to land in Alpha Base, but instead Stasis Net Array, which to be honest it all looks kind of the same to me, but what is almost guaranteed in any game I play is that there will be another team looking to end my ranked dreams, so it was just as well, I hit the loot jackpot. Oh yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> Off 
to a good start, I decided to flex with one of my special moves, a 360 no clue. Looking at my damage to kill ratio, I felt praise for my teammates was in order. Go you. Big d Hey man, I got lucky. This game looked promising. Two of us with purple shields already and a care package dropped down outside North Promenade, completing the fortification of our squad. Enemy rather close. There was another team here, and with 16 squads left, I thought caution was the play, but my teammates disagreed. Singular. Hesitation was tipping the scales against us. I had to act. <laughs> that fight nearly cost us everything, and I vowed never to let it happen again. On the other side of Promenade, I heard fleeing combatants from the round one ring and showed my teammates I was ready to push the W key when we fought next. But. Say again, bud. You don't want to fight? I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. I guess we now all understood each other, and off we went. Get out of here, man! Nope. My kill stealing was getting out of hand, but as round two was about to close, I'd seen enough and made the call. Let's go ring. But Seer wasn't done here, and that meant none of us were done here. The ring moved and we were on the wrong side, but I had finally broken a record for the most eliminations with the least damage done. Another sign this game was destined for success. We made use of the map's inbuilt mobility and easily found safety for the third round, which soon closed with all eyes fixed on backup Atmo and its main building that would become the center of a vicious battle. Breaking through these defences wasn't going to be easy, but constant pressure could overwhelm the replenishment of those annoying fences. Our synergy had broken into pieces, and with it, our chances of victory. I wasn't the leader of this team, I was a sheep blindly following my betters. What possible difference could I make? Well, I'd come this far, but now it was all down to me, and I felt like buckling under the pressure. But it wasn't over yet. I had Ballistic's banner now, but surviving long enough to craft a mobile respawn beacon seemed absolutely futile. I don't have enough for the beacon. No, this battle would be won with stealth, timing and ruthless aggression. If any of those elements failed, then so too would the entire mission. I'd been spotted, but I had design on that Watson team. Take out the whirly gig and grenades into the black hole. 
It was a good plan. It was a horrible plan. At least I remembered to reload the R99 this time. But there would still be a price to pay. And that price was that I forgot to reload the havoc! I was beginning to see how powerful placement was in a game that I'd been playing for years as a front-facing warrior. To make diamond this season, I'd need to make some changes, but at least things were moving in the right direction. Know your place. I know mine.